Hey everybody, Ms. Dietrich here. We're taking a look at question number 10. Last week, 24% of the campers at a state park were visiting from out of state. This week, an additional 12% are from out of state. If there are 175 campers at the state park this week, how many are visiting from out of state? Now, if we take the total that they had last week, and they're talking about an additional 12% for this week, that means we really have a total of 36% for this week. If we put that in a tape diagram, 36% to just approximate how big that chunk would be, that means the balance of the folks would be in-state, because that's the out-of-state folks. And if we're talking about all of everybody, that's 100%. Now, the number that they want is they want this number. They want the number of folks that are from out-of-state. So let's read this again. It says, if there are 175 campers at the state park this week, how many are visiting from out of state? So that would imply that 175 would be the all of it number, and they want to know this number right here. We have two approaches that we can take to solve this. Approach number one, whenever you have the all of it number, which we do, you can take the all of it number, which is 175, and you can multiply that by your favorite equivalent of 36%. So we think about equivalents of 36 over 100. You know, of course, 1 is the decimal equivalent of 36 hundredths. That's an option. And if you multiply that, that'll, that'll give you the par. Just remember, you have to go over 2 with, to the left. Now, you might want to do, um, you might like fractions. If we simplify this, that would end up being 9 25ths. This divided by 4 is 9. This divided by 4 is 25. If you think it's easier to multiply 175 times 9 25ths, that's an option. All right, so if you don't like that option, you might like proportions. Now, in proportions, when we, we talk about proportions, we talk about parts and wholes. And when you have all of something, you have 100%. And they're talking about 36 out of 100. So this is equivalent to 36%. Now, in this case, the 175 would be the whole. So we would put that right here. And we would solve for the part. Now, ask yourself, which thing looks easier to solve? This? which is called using proportional reasoning, or this, the idea that if you have the all of it, you multiply it by your equivalent of the percent to get the part. There's no right or wrong. You just have to pick which one you like. Now, again, I just want to caution you. If you pick this one, don't forget to move the decimal over two places to the left. And if you pick this one, I think it's a good idea to simplify that. Divide by 4 and get 9 there. Divide by 4 and get 25. That'll be a little bit easier. So if you did this one, I think you would your cross products would look like this. You would have 9 times 175 equals 25 times P. And if you multiplied 9 times 175, that would be the next step. And if you did that, you would get 1,575. equals 25p. And then your next step there would be to divide both sides by 25. Alright, so over here you would get the p. I'm running out of room here. But you would have to find what 1,575 divided by 25 would be. Seems like this is a little bit easier. So I think if it were me doing this, I think I would go for this method of getting the final answer. Good luck finishing that up.